Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I am so happy that I'm able to film this video today actually. Um, it, it has been quite a while that I didn't even get the chance to film any videos at all for a couple of weeks now. It's just been really very busy with the, with the office and family, the kids, and everything. Sometimes it's just so hard to squeeze in everything. But I was able to recreate this look using my... Where is that? Using this palette, I know I'm kind of like late on a wagon, but I was still able to, you know, try to recreate a makeup look while I'm getting ready. Uh, there's going to be a party, a family party, and so I took advantage of, while I'm going to get ready, why don't I film that look? Because right now I am wearing um, a dress that looks like this. Um, I got it from Jones, New York. It's really beautiful. I love the Eva Mendes collection all the time. It's actually up to floor length. I was just able to show you the print on the upper part of my body. Later on, maybe I'll get the chance to take a quick video of my the lower part of the dress so I can just post it and just show you how pretty it is. They still have it and um, it's great. Uh, because they have a lot of like sale and um, they gave me a coupon for Mother's Day for like a 50% 50 50% off two products that are you can grab two products that are 50% off which is a great deal but anyway talking about this makeup yes I use the the natural natural love palette from Too Faced and it's just beautiful but it's it looks like a combination of all the, you know, those smaller palettes that they usually have that are collectibles. Yes, I do have them too, but I can never have too much, right? But anyway, um, yeah, and I am so happy using my Sephora favorites to give me some nude lip. And I use their Too Faced um, lip injection also. They're kind of like tingling in my lips right now. I'm not exactly sure sure what they're gonna do um i just hope they don't just like blow up just like that but i don't think so i don't need more lips i think i've had enough but anyway i really like how it came out um it's it's not so like dark but i definitely put on some lashes right now because i am going out on a family party and you don't want to get left behind of looking so great and it's a nice weather out there not so hot and not so cold so perfect for me and um i hope i'll get more chances of making a lot of um tutorials like this hopefully i'll, I'll get more creative with my other postings i have a lot of plans but sometimes you know it's just the time and the timing for making all those videos but i really enjoy and i will always continue doing my um videos um as much as i can so if you're new in this channel by the way my name is jackie and please do not forget to subscribe in my channel um you know, I'm going to try to post more and more and more, but trust me, you'll learn so much. And if you have any questions, and if you have any suggestions, I will be very glad to um, see that on the comments down below. And I'll definitely try to do it, you know, or maybe we can do something like um, try, dare me something. Please be nice, you know, don't be too harsh of like, I have to do it, a challenge, you know. Um, I enjoy challenges, it kind of like makes me feel challenged, but um, okay, well I'm not gonna stay long, I have to go, and I'll see you guys on my next video, and give me a thumbs up, and I like this look, I mean I'm sure, you know, you guys can recreate this look, so I'll see you guys next time, bye! And I'm back, and to starters, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Hangover F rx fx rx i think yeah and um with my um foundation i'm gonna be using my Too faced born this way and i had to like pull my hair back it's just all over my face so um i'll be blending this out this um foundation but while i'm blending it um i would like to let you know that I'm gonna use my Too Faced um, Born This Way concealer, and um, I've been loving this lately. 
I've been um, working with this one and my Tarte Shape Tape, but in this video I try to use as much Too Faced products as I can just because I am using my um, Natural Love palette. And this powder, I don't exactly know the name of this, but a very good friend of mine have suggested this and I tried it and I totally lost the cover for it. So now I have no clue and she doesn't even know it either. And this is for my brows. This is from Bodycology. I got this from way last year, I think. I got it from my BoxyCharm box and i um, not exactly sure. I think they probably have it in BoxyCharm website. Um, I will check that out and I will definitely link that, um, you know, link down below just for you guys to have some, you know, info. But definitely there's so many beautiful, beautiful products for your brows lately everywhere. And uh, you can definitely check on that and, you know, just brushing it out. And for my eyeshadow primer I am using I was able to use again my worn this way concealer and here I am gonna be using my natural love palette I just got this I haven't used it so I'm really excited about it and so I'm just gonna start you know using it and there's a phone call but yeah, I will show every detail of what um, eyeshadow that I've been using. And there are some points that I totally forgot, but I'll definitely quick say it in the video if it's something that I haven't showed. going to be using this is I believe from Tarte and for some reason I've been loving brown eyeliner lately especially you know sometimes I don't want it to be so dark and kind of like blend in with my eyeshadow so um this is what I've been using lately I still use black eyeshadow but whatever and this is what I got from my ipsy it's from pixie and I forgot exactly the name of the color. It looks so promising. I thought it would be so nice because it's like a coppery color. And I just thought, you know, putting it in my, you know, wet liner area is going to be good. But I didn't like it. And so I decided to put on some mascara. I mean, 
no, not mascara, but lashes, and there we go. And now I am going to use my Shade and Light palette for my contour. It looked like I'm pounding my face so much, but I wasn't. It just looked like I'm being very harsh with my face, but I didn't. So I was trying to be, you know, I just fast forwarded. That's why it looked a little bit more intense, but I was not planning to scrape off my face anytime soon. So yeah, you know, I'm trying to do it tenderly, not only for myself, but also for my clients. And I like it. I've been loving this shade and light palette and I cannot not forget contouring my nose it's like a necessity for me and so I couldn't find any specific color of blush but I have to go through my um my pair from Too Faced it's a pair of I think this is Big and Carrie I'm not exactly sure if it's Ross or or I forgot her name but definitely I use that one and for my highlighter, obviously, I'm also using Too Faced, and I decided to use gold because I just thought that, you know, it doesn't reflect so gold in your face anyway. So I just thought, you know, maybe I would go for that one, and it looked really great. Well, for me at least, you know. And I am using a lip liner from Estee Edit. It's more of like in a nude. I got it from the first batch of nude collections. For the lips and this is the second batch I, they did the two kinds but this one is um i'm gonna be using this kind of like a lip gloss thing from too faced it's more of like a lip injection so i totally forgot about that and that's why my lips started to be tingling and it just didn't taste so good either and then i'm using my makeup forever um powder hd i just love it so much because it gives me the very very flawless look and i just I just like putting it on all over and for my final look I will be spraying my face with a setting spray from pixie and I guess that's my final look and thank you very much for watching my video and I'll see you guys soon bye